Hey, you better have one. You look pale. I'm all right. What's that on your forehead, do? Oh, shut up. What time is it? 11.35. Well, if this isn't a nice way to make a living. You don't think this gay dame will take on, do you? Oh, probably. The last one I saw screamed all the way to the chair. That's what I hate about dames. They always dramatize everything. It would have been a good idea if that dame had committed suicide before she got to the dance hall. Then we wouldn't have to watch it. No such luck. I don't know why they give me these assignments. I always get sick. Yeah, and I wish you'd stop eating beforehand. Never bothers me. Well, it does me. Hello, everybody. Oh. And how's everyone on this festive occasion? Hey, Devlin, did you bring a bottle? Where have you been, Dev? I haven't seen you for a long time. Now, well, I work for a living. Hi, Devlin. Well, I'm a dirty so-and-so. That's what I've always thought. What are you doing here, Garfield? Covering the story. Oh, thanks. Have a sandwich? Not me. I've attended these things before. You mean to say that Spike Kiley handed you out this assignment? Well, I asked for it. You asked for it? Why not? It's a big story, isn't it? Look, Tidbit, an electrocution is no place for you. Well, I'm a reporter. No, you're not. You're just a sweet little kid whose family allowed her to read too many newspaper novels. You make me so mad I could... Well, I could... spit. Go ahead. You think you're cute, don't you? You know, I'm surprised that you don't talk baby talk. By the way, I, <coughs> I don't suppose you've been to any of these high-tension parties, have you? Well, there's always a first time. Yes, but it always seems a little worse when they burn a woman. Why make an exception? Because she's a woman. Well, it should be a very interesting experience for you. Look, maybe I can give you a rough idea of how it looks. You know, just so you know how to handle yourself. Now, uh, supposing this is the chair. Over there are the witnesses. That's us. Then they slap you on the chair like that, see? Then they put the straps across here. Another here and another here. Then another one across here tight. Then they take a wide rubber band and put it across your eyes. Like that. And another one across your mouth. Then they take the electrode and they slap it on your leg like this. Never mind the rehearsal. I was only trying to give you a present. That's a swell way to do it. Look. Real gold and everything. You pick out the most appropriate places to get sentimental. Now listen, little Miss Front Page. It's okay for you to shag fires and ambulances. But a burning is different. It does something to you. It chills you up inside. Look at those guys. They've seen them before. And believe me, they're really tough. Oh, don't go through it, kid. You don't have to. I'll cover the story for you. No, you won't.